Hey everyone, welcome to Battery Hacker, the place where we break down solar power in simple, practical ways. You've probably heard of two main types of solar charge controllers, PWM and MPPT. But which one should you actually use for your setup? Let's break it down in a simple way, and I'll give you clear reasons to choose one over the other. Let's start with the PWM charge controller. Imagine you have a solar panel rated at 20 volts and 5 amps, charging a 12-volt battery. The battery usually sits around 13 volts when charging. That means about 7 volts from the panel go unused. They're simply lost. Because a PWM controller doesn't convert or boost the current, it just chops off the extra voltage. Now, 7 volts times 5 amps equals 35 watts of power wasted. So your efficiency drops to around 65%. That's quite a bit of energy loss. With a PWM controller, matching the solar panel voltage to your battery voltage is very important. If you try to connect a 35-volt panel to a 12-volt battery, it simply won't work. The voltage is too high for the PWM. But with a 24-volt battery system, a 35-volt panel is fine. When using PWM, ensure that your solar panel voltage closely matches the battery bank voltage. Another factor to think about is wiring cost. PWM systems typically require solar panels connected in parallel to match the battery voltage. Parallel wiring increases current, and that means you'll need thicker cables, which can get expensive. Sometimes, it's actually cheaper to go with an MPPT controller, wire the panels in series, and use thinner wires. Now let's look at the MPPT controller. It does something very clever. It converts the extra voltage into additional current for the battery. So in the same setup, the panel voltage matches the battery bank, but the current is boosted. If you calculate the efficiency, you'll find that the power going into the controller is almost equal to the power coming out. That's because MPPT works like a smart current converter. Here's an example. Let's say you connect two solar panels in series, each producing 35 volts and 10 amps. Together, that's 70 volts and 10 amps, or 700 watts of solar power. If you're charging a 12-volt battery bank, you'll need around a 60-amp charge controller. But if your system runs at 48 volts, you only need a 15-amp controller for the same power. So increasing your battery voltage can actually reduce the cost of your charge controller. If you ever need more power later, you can simply add more charge controllers in parallel to the same battery bank. It's a very flexible setup. So here's the takeaway. Go for a PWM charge controller if your system is small, under about 200 watts. Or if you're on a tight budget and efficiency isn't a big deal. But for anything larger, or if you have limited roof space for panels, MPPT is the smarter choice. It's more efficient and usually worth the extra cost. If this helped clear things up for you, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to Battery Hacker, and check out my other videos on off-grid solar power setups.